Hi, today I'm doing a review for the wireless IP camera. Um, this is great for real-time remote viewing. There's easy setup. It works um, on your Wi-Fi or cabled up with an Ethernet cable. There's night mode. It has high def and you can use a micro SD card up to 64 gigs um, for recording also. Now in the box we have the camera. We have the ethernet cable or the cable to be able to connect onto directly into your router. We have the six foot long um, power cord. We have a stand that will allow us to be able to um, hang this or slide this on like a shelf, that kind of thing. This attaches right onto the bottom and this screw. I haven't tried it, but I would guess that this would also fit on a tripod. And the antenna. That's all included in the box. So now what we're going to do is set this up for operation. What I want to do is, the first thing I want to do is connect on the antenna so that it can detect my Wi-Fi. And I'm going to do a Wi-Fi installation. There are instructions for being able to do it, um, to do it with, you know, connecting it directly with the cable, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this wirelessly. As I do that, I take my power cable and I plug that in the back and then plug this into the outlet. And now I have power. So now this review or demonstration is for an Android phone. Um, I don't have iPhone, so I can't give you that information, but I can tell you with the, um, with the Android phone. So what you're gonna do is go into the Google Play Store and you're gonna be searching for and selecting Netcam. That's the one, the one you want is that little house icon um, from Netcam 360. And now you'll install it. Um, I've already installed it, so mine shows on install or open, but um, you'll have an install button. So you'll select that and install it. And after it's installed, you'll click the open button. And then after the app opens, um, you'll see the device screen where you can add your device. Uh, you select the add device option. And you'll be present then presented with a screen to enter your information. Everything you need to enter is on the bottom of the camera. So you can see that there's the admin and the password. And what you're gonna to want to also have is it says um, PSP ID. That's gonna be what you enter in the DID um, field. Now you can um, name your camera anything that you want, but it defaults to Wi-Fi camera. So enter that DID number that's on the bottom of the camera it's called a PSP on the camera, but you want that number in the DID field. The bottom of the camera also tells you that the user is admin and there's no password. So you don't have to put in a password. You can add a password later, um, but for right now, we're just gonna leave that blank. So you enter that information and click on the one key to add. That's the very bottom button on that screen. Now you'll enter your Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password for your home Wi-Fi. So what we're gonna do here is start the configuration and we put the camera and the phone close together. And then it finds the device and you click success. And when they're synced up, you'll get a success message and see the Wi-Fi camera under your devices. Now you're ready to use it. So to use it, what I've done is put the camera in um, the room that my, ba uh, my grandson sleeps in. That's one of the reasons I'm going to be using this camera. I have other reasons, but that's one of them when he comes over and to be able to watch it as he naps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select this camera and it will then bring up the camera and we can move it up and down
so that we can see, so I, I'll now be able to watch um, and see if he's awake or if he's just playing instead of sleeping, that kind of thing. So the app has a lot of uh, functions in it and you can go through those um, to making, you know, what changes that you want. It also has some different abilities um, for emailing you alarms, um, those kind of things, but I'm not going to go through that in this particular video. I might go through it in, an, in another one, but this one at least gives you, now we're connected, cool camera, like it a lot. Um, seems to be quite durable. It's worked well. I think it was easy to install. Thanks for watching.